third round of the Arnold Palmer Invitational from Bay Hill. And live at coverage on PGATour.com. Featured morning pairing of Ricky Fowler and Zach Johnson. Ricky in some trouble at the fourth, the par five, but not for long. There's a lot of guesswork and judgment in a shot like that. He played it beautifully. Look at the thumbs up from Zach Johnson. He appreciated the effort. And Ricky made birdie. Over at 11, second shot into the par four, 438 yards on Saturday. Number of quality iron shots struck by Ricky. That one within 12 feet. Birdie chance here at the 13th. Just a shade off the putting surface, but down it goes. Then at 16, Birdie here to move to four under. Curling in. And Ricky would sign for a two under round of 70. Zach Johnson, third shot at the fourth, the par five. He resisted the urge to go for any of the par fives in two. Just doesn't have the firepower to do it. Played his game, executed his strategy, much like he did in winning the Masters back in 2007, laying back on all the par fives. He played the fours beautifully as well. Be right, he said. And it was at the ninth. That's good caddying right there. Good caddying indeed. He and Damon Green, terrific team. And we heard a lot of their strategy all day long. That one he clipped beautifully at the 12th, producing another birdie. And then a par saving attempt at 17. This preserved a bogey free round for Zach. And it was typically efficient. Zach Johnson performance into a 68. Brought you some featured holes coverage in the afternoon from the 13th and 17th. 13, just a short positional par four. Where Russell Henley popped one in for a birdie and a rare birdie, judging from that reaction, on the way to a 71. Another Georgia Bulldog, Kevin Kisner, got into the tournament late when Bubba Watson withdrew on Wednesday evening, and he's validated that opportunity. Played very well this week. That was a beauty in the 13. Birdie there for Kisner. He shot 69. Keegan Bradley, runner-up here last year at Bay Hill for birdie at 13. That moved Keegan to nine under par. He would sign for 69. It was a 68 for Brendan Steele, aided in part by this birdie at 13. Rory McIlroy playing here for the first time. Top ranked player in the world. For birdie to move to minus 12. That got him within one, but then he hit the bogey train for a few holes and would sign for 71. Rory's at nine under par. Morgan Hoffman. Young player who took his first ever 36 hole lead into the weekend. It was a scruffy start, but he really fought back beautifully. Thanks to shots like that one into the 13th, which led to a birdie. Matt Every was in the final pairing alongside Hoffman and the defending champion with a birdie of his own here in the par four. As Every looks to go back to back over at 17. Long, tough, par three, 216 yards. Sam Saunders, Arnie's grandson with a birdie. And a very nice round for Sam, 67 on Saturday. Daniel Berger made a double eagle earlier in his round. An albatross also had an eagle on another par five and struck a gorgeous shot into 17. And Berger with a 68 on Saturday. D8 points has found a little spark this week, playing very well. His 67 was highlighted by this long birdie, which found the target at 17. Points was at nine under. Looked like that was going to be the shot of the day at 17 because there weren't many birdies at the par three. Only eight, in fact. But this one was the most unlikely. Matt Jones from 75 feet. How do you do? Jones birdies his last four holes to get to 13 under. What a shootout we're going to have on Championship Sunday. We'll have featured group coverage in the morning.